Hey guys, it's George from Diamond Yard Sports Cards. I'm here with another video for you. About two years ago, I did a uh, tutorial on uh, PSA reholdering. And I wanted to revisit that because I have some new thoughts. And uh, and I think I'd like to do a few more videos uh, in the coming year here about just some of trying to convey some of at least my perceptions of PSA and kind of, you know, whether it's how they grade how they review cards, how they rehold their cards, and and what the value of reholdering is. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that uh, and go through, at least from my perspective, some uh, tips. Hope everybody's having an awesome Sunday morning. Uh, so here we go. Okay, guys, this is the PSA website, and you can see there, reholdering appears on the surface to be a wonderful value. Um, you can see there for $499, or $4,999 is the maximum, and it's only um, $10 to, to re-slab a card, uh, which sounds like a great deal. Only only $35 to slab a card that has a value up to $19,000, uh, almost $20,000, which is pretty amazing. So on the surface, this seems like a great value. Um, it can be, and it can be very risky. So here we go. Um, what got me thinking about this, guys, was I picked up this... Really, I thought really nice, Pete Maravich, um, 1975 Maravich. And it has, as you can take a look at there, a crack in the slab. Now, I think I got a decent deal on it because of that. This Maravich is really a nicely well-centered Pete, uh, but it does need to be reholdered. Um, so I'm going to do that, and that's a no-brainer for this one. Uh, but it got me thinking about reholdering because I've had some issues in the past with reholdering. I've done it many times. Um, and there's a risk to it. Uh, there's a risk that reholdering the card could get clipped or damaged. Um, this is rare, but it does happen. You need to keep that in mind when you make your assessment of do I get the card reholdered or not. Now, this Maravich, it's an 8, it's not a 10. Um, and PSA uh, will re slab the card as long as as the crack doesn't go over the card. Uh, if it goes over the card, vintage, modern, ultra modern, they will have to regrade the card. Um, so there shouldn't be an issue with this Maravich getting reholded into an eight holder. Um, so I guess the first thing is, what are the best types of cards to reholder? And what should you reholder? Um, well, first of all, I wanna show off this nice Sandy Koufax card. Uh, and this is a tip from Mike O. I just picked up this Kofax rookie, and I couldn't get over the centering on this card. I thought it was just fantastic. Uh, there's a little bit of whiting uh, on his cheek here. But when I got the slab, um, I thought, man, this, this card looks great, but uh, it's got some scratches on it. So in order to avoid reholdering, Mike O gave a great tip. This is a few years back about using Meguiar's Scratch 2.0. This will take out most of the scratches it's not perfect but it will so don't be don't be dissuaded by an older holder or something like that uh this this holder right here is not the oldest holder i know some people want newer holders and i get it uh regardless of certain number but don't be dissuaded if you think the case looks a little scratched up because you can use this to get it out and clean it up and maybe not have to spend the money to reholder it but if you are going to reholder, so in this case of the Kofax, I'm not going to get that card reholder. Um, so I think what the first thing is cards that you think, what kind of cards are you gonna are you gonna reholder? You're gonna reholder cards, and these are cards I have had reholdered, maybe that don't have as much of a risk of damage. Um, mid to low grade stars. Uh, mid to low grade Hall of Famers. This is a Hank and a three. If this card gets damaged by PSA, um, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's a beautiful uh, three, but it's not the end of the world. Here's a six. I got this one reholdered. Um, nice card. Uh, again, it's not an eight and a half or anything like that. This one was a little bit more risky in my mind. Uh, it's a seven and a half. Again, it's not. It's not a nine or anything like that, but. But still, but I got these cards reholdered a while ago, and I was very happy with that. Um, what other cards would you? What cards would you get reholdered other than mid grade cards? Well, here's some, actually here's some more cards that I'm considering getting reholdered. Um, I know that some of these cards right here, these don't have a possibility 
of getting a bump up or being reviewed. Uh, this Clemente is a six. It's an old grade six. As I've talked about before, excellent mint and six on the same line, old grade before the half grades. But this Clemente is not going to get a bump to a six and a half. It's a very nice card, um, but I think it's just it, six is the best grade it's going to get. Uh, and I'd like to get a reholder. This Mantle, same thing. It's a really nice six, but it's probably not going to get a bump to a six and a half, at least in my opinion. I would have multiple people look at these cards. Look at your cards, though, and give them an evaluation. I have a good friend who we go to shows with. I go to shows with. He does that. This Jackie's beautiful. It's a three. It's going to stay a three. It's not going to get bumped to a three and a half. Whether I slab it or I, re I have it reviewed, I crack it out, it's, it's a three. And so I'm going to get that reholder. Uh, another example here, lower grade mantle. Real nice centering on this mantle. Nice color. But the corners are three corners. And it's just going to remain a three. So um, now as I go up in grade, I get a little bit more, my evaluation of should I get it reholded or not starts to, I start to really think about it more. Um, this Kofax is really nice. Uh, I would like to get it reholdered. Um, is it worth the risk? I think so. Uh, same thing with this Seaver. It's a seven. I'm going to get that reholdered. Um, and then last one, this is an example here. Eight and a half Joe Morgan. A beautiful card of Joe Morgan. It's not going to get a nine. I've looked it over very closely. Um, is it worth the risk to get a reholder? Probably. Um, this is not a uh, 1955 Hank Aaron in eight and a half. It's a Joe Morgan in eight and a half. So uh, just make sure you put down the amount of money you think the card is worth in case it gets damaged by them. If it gets damaged by them, there will be a process. Uh, and I've gone through this process before, as many of you have. Uh, where they damage a card, take pictures of the cards before you send them off to get them reholded, especially ones that might be more special to you. Um, <clears throat> so nicer, lower to mid-grade cards, reholder. Cards with a cracked or damaged slab, reholder. I re recently picked up this Walter Payton. It's got a chip. I don't know if you can see it right down. You can see right here. And so this card needs to be reholdered. Uh, it's not going to get a seven and a half. There's a really there's an issue with this corner. Uh, it is a very nice second year Peyton, but it needs a reholder. So if you have damaged slab, I get it. If you want your cards lower or mid grade cards regraded or not regraded, review or not reviewed, reholdered, great, great cards that I am considering not getting reholdered. Examples. Cards that might get a review and get a higher grade. This is a really nice seven of this uh, Bredikoff Irving Johnson. And I think this has a shot at a seven and a half. I really do. So I'm not going to get this reholdered. I might snap it. I might submit it for a review. I might do nothing with it. I don't know. Uh, this Jackie and a six and a half. Beautiful Jackie. Um, I'm not going to get this reholdered. Uh, it might have a shot at a seven. Always thought this card might have a shot at a higher grade, uh, second year Wayne Gretzky and an eight and a half. Centering is killer on this card. I uh, don't know exactly about that area. But anyway, this card I think has a shot at a nine, at a, at a nine sometime for hit potentially. And this Hank, it's an old grade 60 Hank, but it's centered really well. It's a beautiful card and I'm not getting this reholdered. Um, again, cards that you don't want to get reholdered are ones you think might have a chance at a review to get a bump to a higher grade, whether it's an eight and a half or a nine. Um, lastly, cards that you think are too important to get reholdered because they might get damaged or you're concerned about damage. Again, I had a 1964 Willie Mays in a PSA 8 that got clipped and that was painful. So, uh, like this Oscar Robertson is, is a great card. I'm not going to risk having this card damaged. Um, this Tom Seaver, fantastic card, not going to risk getting this damaged. Uh, again, reholdering it creates some kind of a risk. Uh, Tim Duncan rookies. New grade in a 10. Another 10. I'm not getting this reholdered. It's fine. Uh, I know people love the Lighthouse Slab. I do too. Lighthouse Holder. Um, here's another example of something interesting. This is a 4. Normally I would say re-slab this all day. Reholder this. Unfortunately, there is a dog ear on this Ted. This dog ear, uh, I don't know what's going to happen if they reholder that. Who knows? It could get further damaged. That's my concern. Um, it wasn't a great job of slabbing it in the first place if they dog ear your card. 
Uh, this is not my, I didn't slab this myself, but what I'm saying is I don't want this to be any further damaged or have them come back, which I've heard they do sometimes and say, listen, this is no longer a four, it's a 3.5, it's a three. Um, so I'm just gonna keep this Ted in this case. Uh, another one, you know, it'd be nice to have uh, this Jim Mint Jerry Rice in a lighthouse holder slab, but at the same time, I'm not gonna risk it. It's already a 10. I know it's an, it's an old, older slab, but I'm not gonna risk that. The slab itself, I'll clean it up with the Meguiar's. It looks fine. The slab is not compromised. It's in perfect condition. So um, another example would be this Lawrence Taylor. So guys, I just wanted to give you some tips. I'm trying to go through this here. And just to recap, um, to recap, I would say best types of cards to reholder. A, cards you think are not worth a review. B, cards with a cracked slab, what PSA says about where the crack is, again, keep that in mind, if the crack's over the card, they're not gonna, re, they're, they're gonna regrade it. Uh, nicer, lower to mid-grade cards. Uh, best types of cards to rehold are cards in any grade where you think the potential gain in value um, of having it in lighthouse holders worth the risk. Best types of cards not to rehold are, cards already in a gem mint 10 slab, older or vintage slabs in higher grades or a card you want to PSA to review uh, to see if there is a bump on the card. So guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you uh, tuning in, sharing your time, uh, and spending some time with my channel, and keep collecting.